just to tell you something that we are doing this year that we have not ever done before and I don't know yet if this is going to work. So I'll run it by you. I'll explain what we're doing and the philosophy behind it. And then, uh, you know, you can see for yourself if it's something you want to do. And I'll tell you what happened after Prime anyway. But I think this is a, a great idea. So I'll, I'll run you through it. Now, it goes without saying that to prepare for Prime, you should definitely make sure that you've got enough stock in your store to sell to all the billions of people who go shopping in Prime. So you've got to have that. You've also got to have all your coupons and discounts all ready to go and all approved by Amazon. Because remember, you've got to get them approved. Uh, so that's got to be in place too. I would also, uh, just as a side note, because I just noticed this wasn't done for one of our things, uh, you should also really make sure that you've got a system in place for systematically following up with your customers to get reviews. So if you haven't set up something like Kibli or whatever it is you want to use, whatever software you want to use to get your review getting processes automated, you really want to make sure that's going to get set up as well because it's a great opportunity not just to make a lot of sales but also to get a lot of reviews as well. So that's also a very, very good idea. All right, now let me tell you my idea and um, I'll also give you the philosophy around it. So philosophy first. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good idea in business to look at what everybody else is doing and then kind of do the opposite to it. So that's a pretty good idea in business. And generally speaking, what most folks will do for their prime sales, most savvy marketers anyway, will do this. Um, and this is what I used to, did last year. So they will, when Amazon Prime launches, they will already have things like their Facebook campaign um, uh, ready to go and their ads approved, of course. Let's just focus on Facebook. So they'll have a Facebook campaign ready to go. So on the 15th of July, they can click go on their Facebook campaign uh, with an advert to the right marketplace that basically says, our Amazon Prime sale is now on, save 25% on our uh, widgets, come and shop now, amazon.com.au, for instance, all right? And that's a really, really good strategy to do. And, and just doing that will put you ahead of most people on Amazon, most people on Amazon, just by using outside traffic to your prime sale, we'll just put you ahead. However, I think that there's a step above that, that you can also do. So here's my thinking. The way that Amazon Prime works, and you be sure on Prime Day to go to the website, and I would encourage you to go and buy something from Amazon, uh, wherever you are, and uh, just see what happens, just to go through the process so you understand how Prime works, okay? But let's suppose we're selling uh, rubber duckies. I don't know, rubber ducks, okay? So somebody who wants to buy their rubber duck, rubber duck, uh, rubber duck, thank you, will come along to Amazon and they will type in their rubber ducky that they want to go and then they'll see all of the discounts that are happening alongside it on for prime sales, okay? Some of it will be on prime sale, bloody, bloody, blah. blah, blah. And, but notice that it's all dictated by them seeing your product in the search engine results page. So it's still dictated by that. So my idea was, well, given that everybody will save all their advertising dollars for Prime Day, so basically they, they turn everything off and they wait for Prime Day and then they switch everything on, then why not instead run a pre-Prime Day sale 24 hours beforehand, have your Prime Sale start 24 hours before everybody else, uh, and then advertise it through Facebook, for instance, okay? Now, why is this a good idea? Well, because what will happen is, by doing that, you will get a bump in your search engine ranking. So if you were, 
for instance, here with your rubber duckies. By doing that, you will bump yourself up, I don't know, maybe to here in the search rankings because nobody else will be doing any ads. Everybody's got them switched off, locked and loaded, fingers over the red button, waiting for Prime Day. You get an advantage because of that. And then what happens is people come to Amazon, they search for the product, and because you are showing up higher, you'll start to get organic Prime sales as well, which is very, very important. Because what that will do, nice virtuous cycle, once you start making sales on Amazon, you will make more sales on Amazon simply by virtue of the fact that the more sales you make, the higher in the search engine results page you rank. So that's what we are doing for all of our Prime Day products. We're having a pre-Prime sale pre-prime sale, we run the advertising through whichever the dominant marketing strategy is we use for that particular product. Let's just say it's Facebook though, just for ease of thinking about it. We run the ads through that, pre-prime sale, and we get the search engine boost before everybody else and we get a jump on them that way. So we're doing that, which is kind of cool. So by, by all means, give that a shot. I don't see, personally, any downside to it. I did downside, and, I'll, and of course I'll, I'll let you know how it goes, but that's my idea, and again, it's just based on what everybody else is doing. We're just gonna do the opposite to that. I'm just gonna see what happens. Where's the gaps in the market? Where is the abilities to make easy money in the marketplace? And I think that's a good one. So, that's what I'm doing. And as I said, all the other stuff I talked about, that should be a given, that you've got all that shit set up as well. That should be a given. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon and indeed Anthony who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.